Uh, today lesson is facility layout optimization using an Excel solver or Excel add-in. Facility layout optimization with fixed point. What's meant fixed point? I have to remind you the layout optimization if we have an empty space in a plant and we want to fit the apartment within this plant and we have the area of the whole empty space or the plant and we want to fit several departments. What would be the optimal layout? One of the methods applied is to use the load distance method, is to minimize the summation of the whole load distance method. What's meant by load is the amount of unit you move between a number of trips, amount of unit between different departments. At the distance is the distance is the walking distance from one department to the other, applying rectilinear method or Euclidean. Euclidean you, do, you go across, it's only possible if you have an empty space, while rectilinear is more practical, you go either horizontal or vertical okay so in this Excel solver you list the number of departments the size of each department and this Excel will try to optimal the layout you have but now uh, we already we have a, a, a demo of how to optimize without fixed point now we consider fixed point fixed point is about if you have a spaces or department in the plant which are fixed you cannot move them such as restrooms the raw material docking the uh, storage uh, the tool eclipse where you place the tool and you define the fixed point as x proportion and y proportion and it is a factor of like for example 0, 0, 1, 1 or 0 0.5 0 0.5 and we see them in a bit so if we go back to the excel if we have the file excel solver you download the layout from the website available at the bottom of the screen as a in the video description so in case you don't have an add-in tab you go to excel option option add in go and browse you add it here to the folder you have and till you get this so you enable this one and you say okay so you must see it here as an add in okay so now we start by new file okay add in facility layout new layout production number of department four we're gonna consider two point and distance measure is in meter okay so i have the one which is by default we're taking 10 by 10 and we're gonna consider the same example as we did before so 30 20 30 20 and the values number of flow which is number of trips or number of unit move between one department and another d2 d3 is 40 and d1 d4 D4, D1 is 50. So we have two fixed point, one, one, and we have one and one. So if I run the system, but I need to remind you the cost, it's only matters where there is a flow. Because if there is no flow between departments, the cost does not have any value. And this the cost is multiplied by the load distance. So if I put 10 here, it's multiplied by the load distance associated with this cost. And same for the fixed point. Here are the flow between department and the fixed point, and we have the cost. And only it matters the one where there is one one value so when we run we define the facility optimize sequence rectilinear sequential and we say okay so i need to remind you about one aspect of the project the fixed point this is the value coordinate of the fixed point is one one and what's meant by one one is literally the width and the length 10 and 10 times one and uh, the point zero zero which means the upper left then one one is the lower right if it is 0 0.5 0 0.5 so it's right in the middle so we say solve at stop at each improvement and there we go so we had the finalized one as one two four four and the finalized value the one we have okay as one two one four okay so let's make sure the calculation is okay and we use rectilinear so we make sure like the calculation is okay if we go back to the powerpoint and what we see here we have I just copied this screen into the uh, powerpoint just to demonstrate the value is correct okay so now we have two more points are the fixed point d2 fixed point and department 3 distance to fixed point in both of them i have the flow as 1 1 in both of them i have the flow as 
one one okay so we have here format shape and both of them I have the flow as one one so we're gonna calculate the rectilinear distance the distance from D2 with a centroid of it is 7.58 and the fixed point is one one which meant 10 10 the rectilinear is absolute value of difference of axis plus absolute value of difference of y so 7.5 minus 10 is 2.5 absolute value plus 8 minus 10 is 2 so it will be 4.5 which is 10 minus 7.5 plus 10 minus 8 and the distance between the 3 and D3 and the fixed point is 10 minus 7.5, 2.5 plus 7, 9.5. And this multiplied by the flow, which is, and this multiplied by the flow, uh, this multiplied by the flow, which is in both cases 1, 1, so it will be 4.5 plus 9.5, which is a total of 14. 1, 2, 1, 4, and this is the value we obtained in our screen, okay? Uh, 